Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And just as I was about to uh, call it a night, we got some news about Marco Beltrami, who is going to be doing the composing and the score of Venom Let There Be Carnage. And I'm like, wow, that talk about timing. Like, I was literally about to turn off all the lights and just go lay down. And, and then I checked my phone and I was like, holy crap, like uh, there's actually some Venom news out there. So uh, I wanted to cover it real quick and just make a quick video. Uh, Marco Beltrami has done a lot of great stuff before. Uh, I think I first knew of Marco's work with The Crow Salvation because Graham Ravel was the um, composer of the first two Crow movies. And obviously, I, you know, I love The Crow um, and I'm a big fan of that first movie. And I actually like the second movie to some degree. I feel like there was potential there for a better movie than what we got. Uh, it's kind of like my version of the Snyder Cut for a lot of you. Um, I want the Tim Pope cut of that movie. Um, but, uh, but, you know, those uh, movies were composed by Graham Ravel. So he, Graham Ravel was one of the first composers I really started paying attention to and I really liked and I was like following his career and his work. And then um, when I saw that he wasn't coming back for The Crow Salvation, I was like, well, who's coming in? And it was this uh, guy named Marco Botrami. And I was like, well, I guess I'll check, you know, them out and see if uh, Marco has a good, you know, good music. And I actually liked his music, uh, the score music for The Crow Salvation. I thought it was pretty good, actually. So I was uh, started following his career. And I said, all right, that's big shoes to follow is Graham Revell. And I think Marco did a good job. And I saw, you know, Marco also did the Scream movies, which, so uh, that's obviously when I first heard Marco's music, but I wasn't following composers and musicians probably around that time. Um, although I think Scream came out around The Crow, so maybe I what Maybe I did know of Marco's work. My memory obviously is, is all jumbled uh, because of everything. So, uh, but I still, I, you know, I remember, at least I remember Marco from Salvation, but he also did, you know, the Scream soundtracks. I think one, two, maybe three, I can't remember, but four also. And has done a bunch of stuff since then. Has done, uh, you know, you know, big movies, small movies, you know, all kind of stuff. And uh, and I love Marco's work. So when I saw that Marco was working with Andy Serkis to compose this movie, I got excited because I also started thinking about when we talked about uh, Morbius. Um, I think it was Morbius was supposed to come out. I think of June of this year of 2020, and then like around August, September, maybe. I think it was maybe it was September. We heard about the composing of that movie being done. And that made me realize, okay, that gives us a basis of how many months behind these movies are. If if uh, Morbius was supposed to release in June or July, but the soundtrack isn't being composed until, you know, uh, September, then it's like, you know, looking at a, maybe a two to three month gap, you know, like afterthought of, of when the movie got, you know, got composed. So that just shows you, at least us, it tells us how far along in the process they are, because composing is is... It depends. They can sometimes do it in the middle of a movie in post-production, or they can do it towards the end. When Usually when there's a cut of the film that they can work with, the composer will have already started and start working on the score and bring in their orchestra to start working on stuff. Um, so that was, like I said, it was about two or three months after Morbius, we found out, well, after Morbius was supposed to come out in theaters, two or three months later, we found out about the composing of it. Same here. Venom was supposed to come out in early October, and now we're two months later, almost three months later, and we are finding about, about the composing of this movie, too. And so, to me, that makes me think, okay, they have potentially a cut of this film, and they, they are now scoring it. So, hearing about the composer and stuff tells us a lot also about the movie. Now, just because we heard about the composer, you know, being Marco Botrami, doesn't mean he's already started working on the film, you know, uh, doesn't mean he's composing right now. You know, so I could be a little off here, um, but maybe he just got hired to do it and he'll go into composing right after Christmas or something like that. But still, it tells us that we are nearing that point where they might actually have a cut of this film and they are at least comfortable enough to start getting the comp uh, composition or, the, or that composition, but the music and the score together, start putting it together. And so that's that what's excited me about this news is the fact that, OK, this gives us again a time frame of the film or at least a, a, a ballpark time frame so that makes me excited you know because that means potentially we might get something soon you know i know a lot of people have been saying for months now december we're gonna get a trailer in december december i still don't feel like we're gonna get one in december if we do it'll be great and i'll be so happy and i'll be happy to be wrong about that but i feel like we'll if we get anything it'll probably be in in the new year um and you know that could yeah i don't know that's just my thought on it i based on nothing but uh, but just my my gut instinct. But my gut instinct has been wrong before. So um, but still hearing that we have a composer, hearing that it's someone as talented as Marco Botrami, 
I'm really pumped uh, because I think uh, you know the, uh, the the person who uh, did the score of the first movie um, and uh, Ludwig. Uh, he I think he went on to win an Academy Award for like Black Panther and a bunch of other stuff. He's great. I liked his style. I liked I have the the vinyl record of the first movie. My mom got it for me as a as a late birthday gift. And uh, it's awesome. It's really nice to listen to when I'm just like relaxing or cleaning. I'll put it on sometimes. And uh, it's great score. Uh, but Marco, I, I'm just more familiar with his work and I have a longer love and appreciation for that guy. And I know he's he can do goth gothic sounding uh, sounds and he can do things like that. And I'm curious to see what he'll do. If he'll keep the theme that was there for the first Venom movie, like Venom's theme, if he'll keep that, if he'll do a new version, obviously he's going to come up with the, the theme for Carnage. Um, and I heard a lot, I saw some people saying like, you know, do you think, um, you know, uh, Green Jello will be on the soundtrack and things like that. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens with, with something like that. But that's soundtrack related and not score related. And so um, it'll be cool to see what they do with this and what kind of other songs, because we had Eminem and, and actually some rap groups on the soundtrack for the first movie. It'll be curious to see what the soundtrack for the, the second film will be, because I imagine there'll probably be more rock stuff, considering you have Carnage in there. Um, so, but I could be wrong. We'll see what it, what it is. But what do you guys think of Marco Botrami coming on? Uh, you know, do you have a movie that you love of, of work that Marco's been on before that you just like, oh, I know that guy's worked from this movie and it's fantastic, uh, you know, or I know him from this movie and I didn't like it so much. Like, let me know your comments down below. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. You know, are any of you out there composer fans do you follow musicians around like i do when it comes to movie scores and things like that and, and composers like i just i get really into that stuff and like i said that my gateway into it was graham revell with the crow movies because i thought those scores were just amazing incandescent they were just absolutely beautiful and uh, and so from there it launched my love for scores and score uh you know score soundtracks and not just movie soundtracks with bands and, and artists but also score soundtracks. And uh, and so that's, you know, I can't wait to hear what Marco comes up with. So let me know what you think. And also, do you think this puts us closer to possibly getting a trailer? And do you think we'll get one this month in December or next month in January? Let all your thoughts be known down in the comments below. We'll continue our conversation down there. Now I'm going to bed. I recorded a couple episodes today and, uh, and I need to get a little bit of rest in. So uh, I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you so much for watching the channel. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.